Fishing, fishing, of living life in the kingdom with no sin and no still in the killing. Read the scriptures for wisdom. Within the scriptures, it's written that the Messiah was risen so we could live in peace. Yeah. Father, can I get one mic? Lord, can I get one mic? Yeah. All I need is one mic. Of living life in the kingdom with no sin and no still in the killing. Just try to envision a vision of living life in the kingdom with no sin and no still in the killing. Lord. Okay. Daniel chapter 4, verse 27. Wherefore, O king, let my counsel be acceptable unto thee, and break off thy sin by righteousness. And break off thy sin. Break off thy sin. Sin is the transgression of the law. So break off the transgression of the law, transgression of the law by righteousness. And that word righteousness there now. The word righteousness as in generosity, as in giving alms to the poor, as in justice, equity, their right. Giving the poor their right. Like we saw earlier when we looked in Job. Oh, we didn't finish that actually. Let's go back to that. That was the last part that we were supposed to get in Job. We didn't finish it. Let's go back to Job 20. I want to get something very quickly. Job chapter 20 verse 18. We read 15. Let's go straight to 18. Right where it says you're going to throw up all the riches that you've... You're going to vomit up all the riches that you've been... You know, accumulating that and that's what Yasha was trying to show the rich young ruler um, Job chapter 20 verse 18 that which that which he labored for shall he restore I'll read that again because that sounded so good that which he labored for shall he restore and shall not swallow it down uh -uh. you ain't gonna if you really want to enter the kingdom you ain't gonna enjoy that riches that you've been accumulating, man. It's not for you, your steward. Right. Okay. You don't you don't believe me, right? Believe whatever you want to believe. You better believe the scriptures. You better start to now deal with start planning. Your exit from this sinful kingdom. Let go of this world, man, and the things of it. Right. According to his substance, that's exactly what Zach Zacharias did, like we saw. He gave half of his goods according to his substance. So, depending on how rich you are, it doesn't really matter. It's not about you being rich or you not being rich. According to your substance, right? According to his substance shall he restitute his restitution be. That's why when the way, when Yeshua stood over the offering plate and... You know, everyone was throwing in, you know, they, they're, they're all showing off, you know, how rich they were, you know, and they're giving him money. We didn't give according to their riches. If you had 500,000 in your account and you give 10 pounds to the poor, have you done good? Well, have you done good? 
But if you have 15 pounds to your name or 20 pounds to your name and you gave 10 pounds to the poor. And that's why Yeshai said, that woman that cast in the two mites, in, mites in, into the thing, she gave way more than all of them. Because she gave out of her lack. She gave her whole heart into it. She poured her whole heart into it. She poured her whole heart into our nation. She poured her whole heart into the Kibir and the kingdom of Ahia. She poured her whole heart to restore Israel back. Right, verse 18 again, according to his substance shall be, shall the restitution be, restitution. You got to restore, restitution just means restore, you got to give back. All that money you're accumulating, you've been stealing from a higher. That's why it said in uh, Malachi, the pastors have been distorting that scriptures for years and years and years. It says, bring the tithe into my store that there may be food in my house. Feed the poor, that there might be food in my house. Shall a man rob a higher? <laughs> you guys need to be afraid, man. You don't know who you're dealing with. You've been dealing with Yahweh and all that, those Yahweh and, you know, but now we're dealing with the power of Israel, higher, shall higher. You better be afraid, man. Go put some discipline to your back. You know, I pray, pray that he have mercy in us. Right. According to his substance, shall the restitution be. And he shall not rejoice therein. It ain't going to be pleasant. That's what I is saying to you. And that's why the rich young ruler, he wanted something, you know, oh, just give, give 10%. It ain't going to be no pleasant thing, man. You, giving your all is your all. All means all. You know, give all, all your heart, your whole soul, and all your strength. You're going to have to fight with the flesh, man. Because your flesh is going to fight you back. You know, you're going to be times when you're going to be hungry. There's going to be times when you're going to have plenty. You know, but even the times when you have plenty, you know that that plenty is not for you. So you're not even rejoicing in that time neither. In all times, you're base, you're bound. You keep on moving forward. You've got to keep constant power. Never let any idol into your heart. You gotta to learn to enjoy, enjoy yourself as well, but not the way the world enjoys themselves. No, we sing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs to each other. We come and fellowship with each other. We make music together. We, you know, we 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 break bread together. You know what I'm saying? That's how we have fun. Not immorality and adultery. Not promiscuity. That's not fun. Let's destroy your temple. Let's, have, let's read 19. Because he had oppressed the, and forsaken the poor. Because he has violently taken away the house which he builded not. <laughs> you didn't build nothing. You're taking off the, the riches that Esau has stolen. Because you've got to understand. When you look at the concept of money. Money, this money you're chasing, this paper money that you're chasing. It's paper. It's not, has no, there is no substance. That's why Yashai was really angry with them. You know, and he said, okay, you know what, give what Caesar's to Caesar's. Give them the useless money, man. But then they lied to him afterwards and said, oh, he didn't want to pay. No, but he, he never said that. He just said, like he said to Peter, go into the fishes, if you're going to find the money, give them that stupid money, man. That money is that's money. It's not real money. That's why they used to weigh the money in sh silver in shekels, a hint of oil. You know, weight. They used to weigh it. You weigh your paper money. What's it gonna? <laughs> you're gonna get zero 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 point something. In weight, you don't have no weight. Even your coins now, it's just useless. It's metal, like worthless metal. Why they're storing up the gold in the vaults. They got the real money. And then they give you the receipt, which was supposed to be the receipt of purchase. You know, which when you look into the history of the um, Rothschild, that's how this bank started. And this is what Yeshia was dealing with. We know that's why it was the, the, they were coming up with the Brutus coin. So it was to manipulate things. 
That's what Yeshaya was dealing with. That's why he didn't. He was against the temple tax, but he didn't say not to pay the temple tax. Give away scissors to scissors. Just saying to go against their constitution. Don't offend them yet. <laughs> yet. Give what Caesar's to Caesar's. So don't stop paying your council tax. You know, even though the earth belongs to a higher. Don't stop paying your water bill. Even though we're not supposed to be paying for water to drink that was given freely by a higher. But you gotta you don't don't stop paying because we don't want to offend them yet. Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 30. We're talking about a concept of money. Jeremiah chapter 32, verse 9. Okay, this is what money is supposed to be. Like you had a time of trade and battle where you trade goods. That's what it's all about, exchange. But now they've got your goods. The merchants, when you see the merchant ships, the merchants got the goods and they give us... They give us little worthless toys to play with while they got the real substance. You gotta see, open your eyes and see what's really happening, man. Right. And then you, when I read Proverbs now, it all makes sense. And all your shyest teaching was about, it all makes sense to you. Jeremiah chapter 32 verse 9. And I bought the field of my uncle's son, that was Anathoth, and weighed, weighed, not counted to paper, the weighed, right? And weighed him the money weighed the money even 17 shekels of silver silver gold precious stuff not worthless metal that they put in and make into a coin and throw it to you and say that's one pound how's that pound if you put that little metal into a weight is it gonna read a pound <laughs> See semantics give you an illusion. This world is an illusion, man. Flee the shadow of this world. Right. Weighed him the money. I'll read that again. That sounded so good. Jeremiah chapter 32, verse 9. I bought the field of Hanamin ha Hanamil, my uncle's son, that was in Anatoph, and weighed him the money. Even 17 shekels, this will weight at a time, of silver, pounds, kilograms, that's how money is supposed to be weighed. Right. And I subscribed, subscribed the evidence. And if you know anything about the, the Rothschild family, what they were doing, they were blacksmiths. Okay, so they used to deal with gold, goldsmiths, blacksmiths, whatever, you know. So they used to take the people's gold and put them into vaults for them, you know, because people couldn't carry it. It got to a point where, because you're weighing stuff now, it, was, it got too burdensome, it got too heavy because people were traveling around those times. There were a lot of merchants going around purchasing things, buying things. That's how the bank started because what used to happen, the word bank just means bench. So they used to have their stools. So when Yeshai overturned the table of the money lenders, that's what was happening. That was the bank starting. He was trying to, do, he was destroying the banks. That's why I said for now, because all these banks are going to get destroyed. So he overturned it. That was a prophetic move, you know, destroying the banks. And that's what they really, this war war is all about. Because the banks need to go. Because literally, this, I'll deal with what they're actually doing. So they had the bench, you know, and they were trading. So they would trade, you know. But then this now they have to travel from city to city, from country to country, and there's those times it was they were using planes and stuff. They used to be on asses, donkeys, and they used to be on horses. You know, they used to they used, they used to have to travel for a long time. So carrying all that money with them became burdensome. So what they used to do is put it in a vault, you know, and then the um, this goldsmiths will give them a receipt. And the receipt now was the evidence. So if I came to you to trade now, I'm like, yo, I've got 200 kilograms of gold with the goldsmith. That's the receipt. Like, oh, cool, wonderful. All right, cool. Trade, do whatever you need to do and everything like that. And I take the, then he can take the receipt now. Go to the people and say, yo, I, he just, you know, I've got the receipt of your boy and everything like that. That's how they were dealing. That's how it should be. Okay. But, so I'll go back to verse 10 again, it says, And I subscribed the evidence and sealed it, 
So that's the seal. Now the seal of the that Jezebel that calls herself the queen. Right? She ain't our queen. And took witnesses and weighed him the money in the balances. That Jezebel needs to die, man. <laughs> our body's gonna be splashed all over the place. Bleed that. Yeah. Just watch that. It's coming on Facebook, so CIA. Yeah, I said that. Right. Um, I took the evidence of the purchase, both that which was sealed according to the law and custom. According to the law and custom. According to the law and custom. So our law and custom says, like it says in Jeremiah chapter 10, don't give to the ways of the heathen. Don't give into their custom. This is our law and our custom. Okay? And that which was open. So carried evidence. You know, this is the evidence of my purchase. But this, the main thing is the, the substance was still there. Now what they're doing now, they take that now. Now the, what the blacksmiths were doing, the Rothschild, they took the money now. The, that's the physical gold. And they kept it. And they were printing more receipts than there was money. So they were giving out receipts. But there was no actual gold. Now they're charging you interest on the money that does not exist. Six. Five. That's what you call manipulation. Four. That's what witchcraft is. Let me talk about by his social or the earth was deceived in uh, Revelation yeah. 19. Social is just control. in heaven hallowed be thy name hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done oh earth as it is Our daily bread, and forgive us for our day, our day. as we forgive our debtors, and lead us not into temptation. Power and the glory 